Well, who's ready for another win today? I know I am. I mean, the way this season started, I'm ready for a win literally every day for the rest of the season. But I'm not going to get greedy. So as long as we get tonight, just kidding, actually, I can't even say that because you never know what will happen. Anyways, I just got here, parked my car, heading up to the stadium. <clears throat> um, we have Maeda on the mound tonight. The Phillies have Arietta. I hate that guy with a passion um, from when he was on the Cubs. I'm sure I'm not the only one. But anyways, back to Maeda. He has pitched great in his last two already last two outings. He has a com uh, between his last two games. He has a combined 14 and two thirds scoreless innings with 20 strikeouts. Um, I believe he's also looking for his third win in a row. I think he actually leads the team uh, with wins with four. I believe. I mean, not that it matters. It's a team. It's really a team stat. So I, I don't look too much into that, but. He has looked phenomenal these last uh, two games. The one was against Colorado, and I think the one before that was against Miami. So it would be huge to get a good one, a good game out of him tonight against a team like Philadelphia that can hit and uh, is a pretty solid all-around all -around team. So if he can give us six to seven innings, because uh, Bullpen had to pitch a little bit yesterday with Brock Stewart on the mound, give us six to seven innings, one to two runs, I would be pretty happy with that. Uh, lineup's looking good today. We've got most of our regular starters in. <clears throat> got Barnes behind the plate, I believe, instead of Grandall. We've got Kemp is back out there, which I think we're all pretty stoked about now every day, especially with last night. It's just been, it's been a great feeling having him back and especially seeing him perform uh, since he's been back. But other than that, I don't think there's anything. I don't think there's any giveaways tonight, anything like that. Tomorrow is the Chris, Chris Taylor bobblehead. So I'm going to head up to the stadium now. It's about 4 o'clock. Get in there for BP and see what I can do. So BP was a little interesting today. Um, not with the players, not with me. But I'm standing out there in Left Field Pavilion. And if you've been here, you've seen like you have to walk up the stairs to get to the seats and the bleachers. And there's a rail. There's some guy standing at the rail at the top trying to catch a BP ball, and he went over the top of the rail, like the very, very top. Um, somehow, he managed to hold on with his non-glove hand until he had his feet underneath him. Like, he didn't get hurt, nothing at all, but he landed on his feet, unscrapped, like nothing. I don't know, that was freaky. That could have been very, very bad. Like he could have gone head first into the pole. He could have gone head first into the ground. Like that was scary. Definitely have to be careful out there because there's plenty of people who go over those railings and very sadly, they don't get back up. It happens at stadiums all across the country. So always be careful if you're doing BP. No balls worth like your life or walking again or smashing up your face. I promise you that. Like I'll just give you one. Don't hurt yourself over it. But he was he was landed on his feet and he was totally fine. So that's all that matters. Uh, Bellinger and Singrani both saw it and they were kind of like just in shock standing there waiting to see if he'd get up and he got right back up and walked right back to the top like nothing happened. So that's all you can ask for in those situations. But uh, other than that, it was actually a pretty good day at BP. Uh, Puig was just absolutely like crushing the ball, just home run after home run after home run. Like I almost even caught two in a row. Uh, but I did catch one Puig home run, and then it is not sprinkling, is it? And then uh, Eric Goodell threw me another one. It's the third one. I'm telling you guys, we're we're best friends. But uh. Eventually we'll be best friends because he's gonna have to he's gonna have to recognize me at some point as much as I'm out there. But anyways, our guys look good during BP today. Um, Jock isn't playing, but he announced for those who pay attention to our players' personal lives, he had his gender reveal today, and Jock's having a baby girl. So congratulations to him and his wife. Um, kind of thought if he'd be playing today, he'd do really well. He's Kind of like one of those guys that just rises the occasion on special special events like his birthday he killed it um but he's not playing but he's hitting the ball pretty hard at bp he usually does so hopefully kike didn't have the greatest of bp um 
but he was hitting the ball hard, just didn't get many over the wall. So hopefully a lot of this can translate into the game because we're going to need it against Arietta. Good hitting Phillies. But um, I came out with two baseballs tonight, so I had to start my streak over because I didn't get anything on Saturday. I think it must have been Saturday because Sunday there was no BP. I got a ball yesterday. So, yeah, I think that's my seventh one I've caught on the fly this season, although I'm not totally sure. Um, but, yeah, so I'm going to hang out here, wait for this game to get started. It's kind of already cold. There's a little bit of a breeze, so it might be affecting the ball tonight. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Feeling good about our team. Let's get this one tonight. Now taking the field, your Los Angeles Dodgers. Dead all night. Dodgers just got their first run on the board thanks to JT. Four to one. The Phillies and Dodgers have the same amount of hits. The Dodgers just haven't been able to come through. Maeda had to leave the game early due to injury, so it's also pretty empty tonight. But um, looks like there's finally some life in this team. I don't know what can happen. Now four to one, bottom of the eighth, and Matt Kemp would be the tying run if Bellinger can reach. So we'll see how this goes. Hopefully we can, another comeback would be insane. Well, that one really sucked. Um, I don't really have much to say about it. Maeda got hurt, looked like he strained his right hip, they said. They had to pull him out in the second inning. Then Alexander came in, and that just kind of didn't go well. And then the bullpen held together pretty well. Uh, Baez did give up a run in the sixth. And then Daniel Hudson came in to pitch the ninth and just did not. I mean, he gave up two runs, gave up. He just, that guy gives up a lot of hits. Um, I'm sort of surprised he's still on the team. But it just, it just all around was not, they lost six to one. It just all around was not a good game. Uh, the bullpen did really well though. I will give them that besides Alexander and Hudson when they did have their moments. But yeah, unfortunately it was just not a good game tonight. Um, I wish I had more to say, but I don't. So we'll be back here tomorrow for game three against the Phillies. We've got Ross Stripling on the mound. He's been great lately. Uh, hopefully we have more info on Kenta tomorrow, and then hopefully it's positive. We don't want him hurt just as we're getting Kershaw back. We need our rotation as healthy as possible, especially since we're still missing Hill. But we'll see how it goes. Tomorrow's the Chris Taylor bobblehead. So got two more against the Phillies. Let's take tomorrow one game at a time and then out here again on Thursday. But I'm going to head home, and I'll catch up with you all tomorrow. Bye, guys.